Hey everybody and welcome to the brand new on this reaction video and this one is Patreon requested it's for Everett. Thank you so much for sponsoring it. So today we're going to be checking out Big Bang Monster and uh, let's see is this actually my first video by Big Bang? that I'm checking out because so the thing is I've already heard uh bang 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 and uh fantastic baby but not in a form of a reaction I just heard that those songs uh yeah you know at like k-pop parties during live performances and stuff but I never reacted to the music videos uh and uh yeah this this might actually be my first official music video by them that I'm watching. Um, so yeah, let's begin with it now, but before we jump in guys, don't forget to check out my Patreon where you firstly can request a song or a video like this, and also see more than 500 exclusive reaction videos, um, then live stage reactions by groups like uh, EXO, NTT, SuperM, Taemin, Taeyeon, SNSD, SHINee, ESPA, BLACKPINK, and others. Then dance shows like Street Woman Fighter, K movies, and K drama reactions like My Mister, Hotel Beluna, It's Okay It's Not Be Okay, Scarlet Heart, ET1 Class, Squid Game, The Producers, Goblin, Descendants of the Sun, and many, many more. So, all of that is on my Patreon. The link is down below. And let's begin with it. Okay, okay. Begin with a pretty intense POV here. Oh, that's the dragon, right? Oh. And that, that must be... Well, yeah, that's Taeyang, right? Oh, me. Hold on, white hair or... This is Taeyang, this is Taeyang, but is it also him? No, I don't think so. No, no, it's not. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. I, I like I like how they're portraying the scariness of the concept of a monster through the styling. You know, the hairstyle is kind of uh, especially for Taeyang, it's very spiky. Uh, it's very exaggerated, like this. Then some kind of jewelry that the other member had here, <laughs> kind of like claws or something. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, so much of this older K-pop essence and vibe here in the instrumental specifically. Mm 
very interesting hairstyle. Actually, everyone's hairstyle is pretty extravagant, right? Hold on before we continue. This Hari manicure at the end. Oh, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that jumping posture, man. <laughs> He's maintaining this this uh, line. You see the parallel parallel lines with his arm and um, uh, what is it called? Shin, right? <laughs> Wait, did did they Oh yeah, they got out. The monster got out, but it's all cold and gloomy. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, now let's get to Mhm. Mm let's pull up a lyric video and see what this one is about. Okay, so let's see Sungri, Daesung, G-Dragon, Taeyang and Top or TOP. Not sure. Oh, 
같지 않아 멀어진 채로 사랑은 걸러진 채로 찾지마 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 나 찾지마 Mm. I like how they're saying Tachima, Hajima, uh, something else, and then Majima, which sounds very uh, similar. I like that rhyme, that quick wordplay, uh, or a clever I like, I like that Kajima, the way he sings Kajima. Okay, so this was Monster by Big Bang. Uh, righty, righty, so, <laughs> yeah, just like I said, this one sounds like, uh, y you know, older K-pop, I call it that, it has to do with the way uh, the instrumental is done, and what kind of sounds they're using there, so, uh, the piano, and then something else, some kind of synth, but it's very characteristic, I want to say, of that era, of that period of time. Maybe not only in K-pop, actually, maybe in music in general and pop music. Um, but for my subjective musical taste, it's not really what I like. Now, since I've heard more songs that do sound like that, and actually a few of them I liked very much, I kind of got used to that quality in music and I dislike it less, but still it's pretty difficult for me to resonate with it. Like everything else has to f fall into place the melody, the voices, and the instrumental, I don't know, the beat has to be right for me to like the song that still has the uh, older K-pop vibe to it. So, with this one, unfortunately it didn't happen for what I like, it didn't quite work, so I don't think I'm going to continue listening to this one, but uh, actually reading the lyrics, I found it, uh, I, I don't know, usually even even when I read lyrics to sadder songs, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a sad song. But I say that from a logical perspective, you know, I don't really uh, feel much when uh, when saying that. But here, even though I still didn't feel like too much, um, I still felt a little bit of sadness coming from some of those lines. Uh, how they're singing, uh, like, don't... No, I, I can't, I can't, if, if I say it right now, since I don't remember the line exactly, it, it won't have the same effect. But yeah, just specifically the way it was phrased, uh, I kind of felt it. <laughs> so, this is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Everett for sponsoring this video. And uh, catch you in the next one. As always, take care, keep listening to great music and love.